<clears throat> okay, well, hello to everybody. Um, welcome to, <laughs> I forgot to say, welcome to afternoon coffee time. Afternoon coffee time <clears throat> and Bible uh, reading or Bible scripture and devotional. Devotional and plus right after, <clears throat> right after I get through, at the end of this video, I want to lead some people to the Lord. That means you, okay? If you never accepted Jesus, your personal Savior, <clears throat> I'm going to give you an opportunity. And that's going to be at the end of this video. Okay? <clears throat> it's going to be at the end of this video. I want to lead some people to the Lord today. Okay? <clears throat> so, what is in your cup? You're drinking coffee, tea, water. What is in your cup? Well, for me, I am drinking coffee without creamer, without my sweet and low. <clears throat> but I'm just drinking regular black coffee. Vultures. Mm. <clears throat> mm. <clears throat> Is that good? Man, that's tasty and good. <clears throat> okay, now... Okay, so I'm going to be in the book of Isaiah. That's going to be it. <clears throat> the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 60, verse 21. So I'm going to read 21 and 22 in the book of Isaiah. Then I'm going to <clears throat> try to tell you exactly uh, some things. As I go along, okay. If you're with somebody, if you're with a friend, <clears throat> you know it's summertime. So if you have a friend over, and you guys don't have anything to do, just sit back, drink some water, and listen to what I'm fixing to read to you, okay. <clears throat> the people also shall all be. Righteousness, they shall inherit the land forever. <clears throat> the branch of my planting, the work of my hands, I may be glorified. <clears throat> Little ones shall become thousands, and small, strong nations. I, the Lord, will hesitate in my time. <clears throat> so, have you ever? Planted something like a garden and watch it to grow. Have you planted it with your hands? But now I have a flower garden. Well, I planted a flower garden the works of my hands. You now I put the, <clears throat> the pollen soil into a flower box and, and put my seeds in there. <clears throat> Plus, I watered it, and now, now they're growing. They're growing. But have you ever done anything like that? Plant something. That's what it says in verse 21. I just got through reading. Have you ever planted something <clears throat> in your flower box, in your garden, and you work it with your hands? Have you done that before? And what did it say in verse 21? <clears throat> it says, Planting ever with the branch of my, what? Planting the work of my, what? My hands. My hands. I will be glorified. Little ones shall become, what? Thousands. <clears throat> it didn't say 100. It said thousands. Thousands and so one one strong nation, I the Lord will hesitate in my time. Okay, now I'm gonna read you the devotional. <clears throat> and this is talking about peace. Uh, well, yeah, it's talking about peace. What I'm fixing to read to you is talking about peace. 
of all kinds of supernatural peace. We can know that one, none of them are more important. None, they even possible until we have peace with who? With God. In our lost state, we may have <clears throat> had a lot of things. However, the peace with God wasn't on the list. The peace comes only through who? Faith in Christ. Receiving Him as your Savior and give uh, and, and the Lord will forgive us forgiveness of our sins in, in relationship with God. You know me, sometimes <clears throat> that's what I do. I will if somebody said something, I forgive them. You see, you're supposed to forgive people. Forgive them. Forgive them and, and move on. I know sometimes it's hard to forgive, but you, you have to forgive that person. Okay? You, <clears throat> you have to forgive that person. Forgive them. Pray, you know, to just forgive that person. If somebody, <clears throat> if someone said something to you in school, if you're a teenager and you're watching this right now, you got a friend over, good, good, I'm so glad, I'm so glad, <clears throat> because I may be, <clears throat> maybe I'm speaking to a teenager who needs to hear the truth, who needs, who, who needs to know the truth. You, somebody might have said something to you in school. You need to forgive that person. I don't hurt. But you, you see, you don't need to keep that bottle up in, on the inside. You need to forgive that person and move on. <clears throat> okay. Now I want to ask you a question. <clears throat> I'm going to read something to you and hear this in a minute. But I want to ask you a question. And this does not matter where you are. <clears throat> if you see this video, it doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you're in a uh, your living room. It doesn't matter if you're in a hospital. It doesn't matter if you're in a hotel. I want to ask you something. Do you know Jesus is your personal Savior? Even if you have a friend over, it's summertime. If you have a friend over and y'all listen, if you're a teenager, fine, I'm speaking to teenagers. If you're a young person, a college person, it doesn't matter. But what, what I'm trying to tell you is, <clears throat> if you don't know Jesus is your personal Savior, then what I want you to do is I want you to bow your head. If you're, if you, uh, if friends are over, I want to lead some of the Lord today. I want to lead somebody to the Lord. I want to at least maybe lead three people to the Lord today. If that's you, I want you to bow your head right now. Because <clears throat> I'm going to read something to you. And that when I read this, I want you to repeat it. Repeat it out loud. Okay? And then I'll tell you what else <laughs> you need to do at the end. Okay? Well, look, look. There's a lot of lost people in the world today who does not know Jesus. <clears throat> let, me, let me tell you all something. Jesus died on that cross for you. And for me. And he loves each and every one of you. Each and every one of you. He loves you. <clears throat> so. Without furthermore. <clears throat> I want you to bow, bow your head right now. It doesn't no matter where you are. 
If I'm speaking to teenagers, I want you to bow your head right now. Bow, bow your head right now, wherever you are. Bow your head. I want to lead somebody to the Lord. I want to lead, uh, if I could lead, lead at least three people to the Lord today, that'd be fantastic. <clears throat> I want you to bow your head right now. Okay, with your eyes closed. With your eyes closed, your head bow. There's four things you need to know. This is how to receive Christ. Okay. I'm going to read two things to you. But first you need to know four things. Keep your head bow, bow, bow and your eyes closed. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Number, number one. You need to know that you are... You are a, a sinner. Number two, be willing to turn from your sins and repent. Number three, believe that Jesus Christ died on that on, on the cross and he rose from the grave. <clears throat> Four, through the prayer, invite Jesus Christ to come into your heart. into your life and through the Holy Spirit receive him as your Savior. Now repeat this prayer. Which eyes which eyes close your head bow. <clears throat> Say this prayer out loud. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I I am a sinful and I need forgiveness. I believe that you died and paid for my sins. I want to turn from my sinful nature and follow you instead. I invite you to come into my heart and life. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, <clears throat> okay, so if you pray that prayer and you meant it, then you had already already accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. And I want you to let me know in the comments that you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Then you need to ask, uh, then you need to go to a, to a pastor, let him know that you accepted Jesus as your personal Savior. Um, <clears throat> okay, so that's the video. Subscribe, like, Ring that bell, and thanks for watching. Bye.